Hello friends. So yesterday it was about the banana flux sale. And here they are. And they are very good because they call in France outier. That means a third. That means one third is in front of here. And the boom cannot come up. You don't need a kick to hold it down because you've got it down all here. And it's not attached to the mast here either. So I've been using this, I use this mass of glass fiber and it's one inch and another goes out and uh, And this other two masts is from uh, Europe dinghy mast. I, I was given or the track was not good. So it's a little bit and one more thing is, you know, like here, as one third is inside, it doesn't get so far out and dip into water and things like that. It's also a very good thing. And what's more, I wrote. Yes, most length is like half because it's not triangular and like no track. And that's make it very simple, and there's no kick. And that's the balance one. What's this? I can't even read it myself. And because it's unstayed mass, the short one, not much can go wrong. And that was the cruise. So, here is again. As you can see, here is the Aspect ratio one to one. This means it's same here and same there. It's very very powerful compared to all other one like here. Aspect ratio six like the triangle say goes up to here and over there. And this is from the book. You have to sign by Lars von Eriksson and the seven editions. And the other book was for Marshall. And this is like AFIS research in the tower from a long time ago. So, thank you for this. Hello friends, this is Irwin again. A sail needs clean air. The mast in front of the sail creates turbulence. That's not good. So, this higher specs ratio, I'm going to windward, even if it's number six, the top of the mast is, creates turbulence for the sail. So, the top bit of the mast for the sail is not to be there. And like I said, the birds got this idea. Put the mast a third from the leading edge. And this is exactly what's in, on the rug sail. That's why they call it in French, outière, means a third. And here you can see it also this. It's a third there. And also, another thing, good with this lug sail, it keeps the center of effort low. It lessens the healing movement. That means you don't need so much ballast in the boat. That means you can make the boat lighter. That means you don't have to have so much sail area. <laughs> that means a more efficient boat on the whole. It uses less non-renewable material so on the whole this is a very good thing like this Bermuda sail we didn't have that before it was created for the measurement rules racing to windward because they started measuring the sail area now who cares about the number of sail areas square meter something like this so 
I think still, even if some people didn't like it, the log sail, the balanced log sail is a good one, especially for a small boat.